In this lesson, we'll take a look at the Omni light. First, open up your V-Ray Asset Editor, and let's delete the existing IES light. Then back over in SketchUp, pick the Omni light from the toolbar, click on the ground near the chair, and then switch to the Move tool and move the Omni light up in the air to about this place here that you see on my screen. Then start an interactive render. You'll see at first that you don't see anything. It turns out that with the Omni light, fly out the menu here, we're going to need to increase the intensity quite a bit. So you can play around with bigger intensities, but I happen to know that 50,000 will work quite well for this one. Next, we've already covered shadow radius before, so you can play around with that one again, but I'd recommend setting it to two to soften the shadows of the chair. Let's look at this options rollout here. Go ahead and click on it. This gives us three new options to cover here. The effect diffuse, uncheck that, and you'll see the light no longer affects the diffuse colors. It's only being used for the specular or the reflection. Check that effect diffuse box back on, and this time let's uncheck effect specular. This will produce the opposite result. No longer is the light being used for the reflections, but it is being used for all of the diffuse colors. Finally, check that box back on and try unchecking shadows. You'll notice that the shadows for the chair go away. So each individual light can have shadows checked on or off to produce different results. Go ahead and check that back on and let the interactive render finish.